Hey guys, it's Lauren here, coming to you today with a Christmas layout. Now I have a slight confession, it is mid-December now and my Christmas mojo is only just starting to appear. I have had all these beautiful Christmas products and all these Christmas houses around me and shopping centres and music and everything and I have to confess my Christmas mojo just hasn't been in it. I think maybe it's kind of creeping in because I've only got one more week of work before I'm having a couple of weeks off. So I think it's kind of creeping in. And today I kind of celebrated that little feeling by just sitting and putting together this layout. Now, when I sat in my office this morning, I had no intention of recording this. I was feeling really kind of funny about my Christmas mojo. And I thought, Lauren, don't record it. Just sit and scrapbook. And if it, you know, if if it doesn't come together, there's no pressure. But I started just to play with my products and I started just to holding each one and a a few products really jumped out at me and I really wanted to use them. And that was the Jen Hadfield gold scalloped adhesive like glitter scallop tape. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I asked the Hip Kick Club Facebook group for some inspiration and a couple of ladies came back to me with what they'd done with that tape and then I kind of felt my mojo starting to happen with it. So here I am, I'm putting together what would really say my first 2019 Christmas layout, celebrating a 2019 moment. And yeah, and I've used this gold tape, which you'll see, you know, me struggle with in this layout, but Um, I just couldn't be happier. So I did a couple of things that's a little bit of out of character for Lauren. First thing is I did some stitching on my layout with a sewing machine. I usually avoid that like the plague, but it actually was just really lovely. And it didn't take too much time to set my machine up. The thought of threading my machine and getting the bobbin sorted and everything, sometimes I think, oh my gosh, no. But anyway, I did it on this layout and I love the effect. And the other thing that's a little out of character for me is there is not one mixed media element on this page. Not one. So I actually, I did use some ink and some stamps. I don't know if you could like put that in there, but not my usual mists and sprays and gesso and paintbrushes. That is not happening on this layout. Today, I'm falling back on some really fundamental classic scrapbooking techniques, which is just layering, using it here, adhesives like foam tape to give dimension, adding some layers, using my embellishments different, differently and adding some texture and that gold tape with its um, glittery feel, some tissue paper under my photo, some foam tape under my photo cluster there. Um, has done the trick in doing that. So it's a really clean layout. And to be honest, I'm really not too sure. I'm not sure about it at all. But what I do know is that when it all came together, I really love the end result. And I didn't have to wash a paintbrush and I didn't have to do all those things. So it was just kind of nice just to sit in my studio, no pressure scrapbooking and um, and at the end of it, I'm just really glad that I decided to flick the switch on the video and um, and I hope you guys like my layout as well. Even though you're probably subscribed to my channel for, or some of you would subscribe to my channel for that mixed media component. Unfortunately, this is not the layout for you if that's what you're after. But um, I hope you enjoy seeing how this came together anyway. So yeah, so this layout is for the Hip Kit Club. I was challenged by the team to do a layout inspired by the mood board. And the I, I, I put a glimpse of the mood board right at the beginning of the video where you saw some sneak peeks of the process video, like the layout to come. So if you really want to have a close look up at that mood board, let it inspire you to create a Christmas layout and then Um, shoot back to the beginning and you'll see it and it's a real mix of texture and shapes so it's a really perfect one for Christmas it's got some nice Christmas themes here I go with this tape just watch what happens here anyway and um, so pop back and have a look at that but if you do a layout and that that mood board has inspired inspired you make sure you 
um, take a photo of it and share it in the Hip Kick Club Facebook group. We have a great group over there. Here I go. You watch. Ah, damn it. Yeah. So what I'm going to let you know is that scallop tape, you can remove it. <laughs> and it doesn't It doesn't take, you know, it's, it's quite flexible and forgiving because I stuck it down hard on that first attempt. And where I had to rejoin there, I knew that my embellishments would cover that little tear. So it was fine. Anyway, back to it. If you do a layout inspired by the mood board or you want to come and do one of our sketch challenges, make sure you share your layout in our Facebook group. It's a lovely community over there. We share all our projects and we share what we do for the kids. We even ask for help like I did today with working out how I could incorporate that gorgeous gold scallop tape into my layout and just a few ladies commenting and sharing their projects with me really inspired me to give it a go and don't be frightened to use products you love just get them on a layout so here I am just making a, a cool Chrissy layout and yeah as you can see, it's coming together. This photo here is of my eldest son and his girlfriend. It was just a sweet little moment captured there with Santa um, where they're both having a good giggle and, you know, they're, they're now uh, probably getting to that age where a photo with Santa is um, a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> um, and I can only imagine the little joke that's going on there to get that real absolutely gorgeous laugh there. Um, when I showed Reese this layout, he loved it and he thought Caitlin, his girlfriend, would love it as well. So I hope she does when she sees it and comes over next. Now, here I am. If you subscribe to the kits, um, the November kits and the December documented kits, you will have gotten three absolutely gorgeous little ribbons. I have not used ribbon on a layout for, I think, 10 years. <laughs> So I thought I'm going to challenge myself and I'm going to put these ribbons on. Once again, adding a, a different texture element and creating an, an easy way of creating a, a cost-effective embellishment is just by adding a little bit of um, ribbon like that, making a couple of little tassels, little tags. I've just used the Heidi Swap stapler there, which is... The, she, that stapler uses the smaller stapler so if you've got like the Tim Holtz tiny attacher or this one they use the same staples they're a little bit smaller than your standard one um, just to adhere those on and it gives a cute little another textured look and then also in our kits in November we got these absolutely gorgeous little stars I these little stars, I use them on another layout, one that I've just shared recently over on, on my channel. So if you want to have a look at my last one I shared or the top one before that, um, they like little mirrored stars on that layout. And then we got the red and the green as well. I actually really fell in love with them and I hope we get lots more product made out of that Um I'm not, I'm not sure what it is. You could probably tell me what it is. They're just like, they're quite thick and they almost are like glass. Um, so yeah, let me have a, let me know in the comments what type that is. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep my eye out for some more embellishments using it because I just love them. Sometimes I steer away from really bulky embellishments like flares. I have a little bit of trouble um, working out where to position them so they don't take over and they don't make too much bulk. But these little embellishments seem to have that nice balance of they still are quite quite thick but don't seem to take over, um, which is what I love there. So I'm just using some of the chipboard stickers just to add another layer there with that cute little green scalloped spot there. I think by adding layers under layers, it's where we create this dimension and the interest it's what turns it from a photo into a scrapbook page is our layers of papers and colors so have a think when you're doing your next layout maybe try and add one more layer than you would normally and see how it comes together see if it's something that you like so here I am I'm just using one of the gorgeous little pink fresh studio reindeer stickers and a little chipboard um little chipboard banner I guess you could call it and that just says merry and bright on there and then I wanted one more little embellishment which I was struggling to find for that corner but I ended up deciding on leaving it so here I am I'm going to now finish my title off with 
um, these absolutely gorgeous black alpha thickers. These are custom ones from the Hip Kit Club and they're just stunning. I hope we get lots more like this in this font because what it does is it allows you to create big words like Christmas in a small space. They can, they sit really well beside each other. So they were just fabulous. So I wasn't sure of my positioning. So I just adhered them right on the edge of my metal ruler there, which allowed me to have the word as a block and then to position it exactly where I wanted it along that line there, along that line of stitching. So I was really Really happy with how easily that came together. Now, just to add a little bit more of an interest point there on that Merry Christmas, I didn't want that Merry to get too lost. I thought I'd just add a sweet little bow there, which just picks it up. As you can see, your eye can draw right to that bow, and then your eye draws to what? What's that say? Merry Christmas. So, creating little interest points like that help layouts come together and the titles come together. Now, I have been eyeing off these stamps. Now, I'm not a big stamper. There is not many layouts, like I'm, I can't even remember the last time that I did created a video and used stamps on a layout. It would have been a long time ago. And if I had, it's usually to create an embellishment that I would then fussy cut out. The reason why is I get very nervous because I put a layout like this together and my whole heart goes into making sure each um, embellishment and layer is exactly where I want it to be. And the thought of putting a stamp on and then it just not stamping properly and I sometimes I just think, no, it's not worth the risk. But today I thought, well, Lauren's a little bit out of her, out of character. Lauren's doing things she not doesn't normally do. She's going to do some stamping. So I've got these great little set out of the December documented kit. We got two stamp sets. Um, actually, this one is from the December, November kits, sorry. And it just has some Christmas themed words that I thought I'd just run up the side of the page. So I'm just using my stamp block and I'm using the grid on the stamp block to make sure the stamp is positioned very straight so that when I'm putting it down, I know that that line is going to be right where I need it to be and that stamp is very straight along that line. I wouldn't want it to kind of like the one I just stamped there here which is no peaking. I wouldn't want the no to be nice and straight and then peaking kind of like rolling up at the edge. So by using a acrylic block that has a grid pattern on there then you can line your stamp up along that grid and then you'll know that it is straight there. So there was a love there and I thought oh this is perfect for them. I'm going to make a big love. So when you're looking at the layout and you notice that stamping on the, the edge, that really strong love kind of stands out. And I thought, oh, that's so cute for them because they're just, they're a cute little couple there. So I was really proud of myself giving that a go. The only word that didn't really stamp out as clear as I'd hoped is that tree on the end there. But as you can see, it's made a really cool border effect and all an any Christmas theme. So I really hope that you like this layout and... I hope that it has inspired you maybe to put the mixed media aside and create a layout like this for something different. I don't know. I'd really love to see your projects for Christmas. Um, so make sure you share them on social media and tag me in it so I can come and come and have a look. Um, that would be lovely. All right, guys. Happy scrapping. Take care. Bye. Bye.